Today we're going to install Unity Connection uh, version 10.5.2. First thing we need to do is get the OVA template. It's in a different location than the normal than the call manager, uh, Unified Communications Manager. Uh, you need to go into the uh, Cisco Unity Connection and under there you'll find the uh, Unity Connection Virtualization, and that's where you'll find the OVA template. In the key Unified Communications Manager, you'll find it uh, in the in the version that you go to. If you go to 10.5, you'll see the OVA template uh, heading for one of the links up at the top. Um, but in the Unity Connection, it has its own separate um, uh, area other than the than the version. So I chose the bottom version. Uh, so I have already downloaded that, so I'm going to go ahead and put that into our VMware Workstation 11. Again, this is for home use uh, or lab uh, use that, uh, that we are using this for, definitely not for uh, production environment. Okay, so it's uh, brought in the uh, settings that we, that we need for the Unity connection. We'll go ahead and put in the ISO. And it's the same ISO that we use for the uh, Unified Communications Manager. So we'll go ahead and browse to that, get that file, put it in. Got to make sure that the uh, connected at power on is checked so that uh, it will bring in the, um, that it, it will. Uh, attach the uh, DVD to it uh, as the as it's powered on. So and we'll go ahead and power on now. Okay, so it's come up. We're going to go ahead and skip the uh, check media at this time. Uh, we, we've already installed uh, Unified Communications Manager um, and it went fine, so I believe the media is okay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and choose Unity Connection. There's nothing on the hard drive, so we'll go ahead and click Yes. Proceed with the wizard. Uh, we're not don't have an upgrade patch, so I'll say no and continue. Okay, I'm in the mountain time zone, so I'm going to go ahead and choose Denver. And continue. Okay, don't need to change the MTU size, so we'll click no. And we are not going to use DHCP on the server. Okay, I'm going to use the host name of CUC Pub. Go ahead and put that in. And our IP address. And mask. And our gateway.
All right, we're not going to be using uh, DNS right now. Okay, I'm going to put use the administrator at the admin for our administrator ID. This is for the operating system. Okay, we'll use just put in some. This is for lab use, so we're just going to put in some Cisco information uh, in here. Not really necessary since it's for lab use for our certificate. Yes, it is the first node in the cluster. And I've set up my uh, Windows 7 machine here as the, as the uh, uh, Windows time server, so NTP. So I'm going to go ahead and put the IP address for that in. All right, a security password. So if you have two servers in the cluster, uh, each server has to have the same security password to be able to install it. Um, so putting that in now. Don't want to do SMTP at this time. All right, the, uh, the uh, application username. Uh, this is different from the operating system uh, username. Uh, I'm going to use the same username, but uh, you can use different ones. So we'll put in admin and the password. Okay, we are set. So I'm going to hit OK, and the installation will start to start to go. I'm going to let this go. I'm going to have, go ahead and pause the uh, the video at this time, and I'll come back when uh, it's complete and show you what uh, has taken place. Okay, the installation is complete. It has completed successfully, as you can see. And we will go ahead and log in with our username. It was admin, put in the password. Looks like it's going to let us in. And it did. Wonderful. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the uh, GUI application as well. Uh, if we go to the IP address that we set, and I'll go ahead and click on Unity Connection. And we'll go ahead and log in here. And it let us in. All right, so that is the video for Cisco Unity Connection 10.5. Um, hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and click on like, uh, send me any comments, and subscribe to my channel.